Hello everyone and welcome to the Stock Martin channel. I have an awesome video for you today. We are going to be talking about some EV news with the big company. The hottest stock that has been in the past one month is Mullen Automotive's ticker symbol M-U-L-N. This stock we have seen go over 400% has tested in the past two months $4.15 from a low of 52 cents. But now there has been starting to be some bad news about this company. We are going to be talking about the latest news and why this stock is slowly dropping. How low will it go? We are going to be talking about this and more. I think you're going to get a lot out of this video. Before we get down into it and get started, give me that big thumbs up to keep me alive on YouTube. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit all to get my latest uploaded videos. Don't forget to share this page with others so we can continue to grow the channel. And I do have a wonderful links down below for you to get some free stocks. Check those links out. Stay to the end of this video and I can show you how you can get some very nice free stocks and a lot of extra cash. Now, without further ado, let's talk about Mullen Automotive's ticker symbol M-U-L-N. Um, I have been covering this stock for a few months now and we have seen a lot of big hype news um, which has skyrocketed this stock up from about 77 cents when I first started talking about it at the beginning of March. Since then, we have seen a pullback and we are starting to see some bad news in the, uh, the stock market, especially in Yahoo Finance and a lot of the financial institutions are talking about this company potentially being a fraud. We are going to be talking about where these reports are coming from and why this stock is dropping. Now, that being said, Mullen Automotive has been up and hyped up starting uh, at the beginning of March with a very big uh, news coming out from CarBuzz that it is coming out with the Mullen 5, the first SUV that will be comparing and that will be competing uh, with the Tesla Model Y and the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Uh, Mullen CEO did a very big interview with Benzenga and I did make this uh, video available for you so you can watch the CEO's uh, interview in its entirety. It's about a 32 minute video. Check that out. I'll link it down below. Um, however, whenever you do look at this company, whenever you did listen to the CEO, they made a lot of huge claims that actually got a lot of traction in this stock. And like I said, moved it from a low 52 week low of 52 cents, bringing it all the way up past $4 and 15 cents at one point in time. But now we have pulled back down. We have seen this stock testing around $2 and 25 cents most recently. Now there has been a report called the Hindenburg report uh, from a short selling investment firm company that is talking about this company and it is saying that this is a EV hustle. They are saying that the claims that the CEO, David Misher, is saying that this company is actually a fraudulent company. They are saying that this company does not have the uh, Milan 5 vehicle. They are also saying uh, bad things about its battery. So the CEO did mention that they are in the research and development phase and in the laboratory, they have a solid state test battery that can produce up to 600 mile range on a single charge. That is actually incredible if this is true because it would mean that Mullen uh, Automotive would have the longest battery range in the EV market, beating out Tesla, beating out Lucid Motors, which now holds the longest range of 520 miles on a single charge with the Lucid Air Dream Edition Range Edition vehicle. Now, that being said, this company, Hindenburg, uh, is saying that this is a fraudulent claim. They are saying that Mullen Automotive does not have this battery and that they are lying, that they're actually talking about a research project that they had back in the year 2020 um, through a Chinese-based company that actually is not longer available. So is this all true? It has not been verified, but I can show you where this information is coming from. And I did just want to show you this article from Yahoo Finance. The title of this article is Mullen Automotive, Another Fast Talking EV Hustle, says Hindenburg. So this article you can also take a look at. 
But again, this is talking about the Hindenburg Research. It's a short selling firm that wrote a titled report titled Mullen Automotive, yet another fast talking EV hustle. It is saying that the bold claims of making groundbreaking technology and near term production of its EV van uh, to an unnamed Fortune 500 customer are actually false claims. Uh, they are saying that the recent updated battery technology is a rehash of the testing company that they already announced in the year 2020. And they're saying that the CEO is actually misrepresenting the test results. These test results are the ones that I was telling you that the battery can go 600 miles on a single charge. Um, he goes on to say in this report, the Hindenburg report, that Mullen's battery claims were based on a technology licensed from a one-year-old Chinese battery technology company. And after hyping up the importance of the relationship, uh, Mullen made one payment under a deal and promptly terminated that relationship. And the Chinese company website is no longer working, according again to Hindenburg. Now, he goes on to say that um, they are claiming, and let me just back up and give you a little background information. Just in that uh, Benzenga interview with the CEO of Mullen, uh, they did mention that they will be selling electric delivery vans to a big, very big Fortune 500 company this quarter. Um, so the second quarter of this year, which did just now start. And so anytime now, anytime in the next few weeks, um, Mullen, the CEO, did say that they will be selling a substantial amount of electric delivery vans to a Fortune 500 company. However, in that interview, he did not name that company because he did say that he will be announcing it in a very big public relations uh, venue. Um, so that will be its next very big catalyst, again, if they are able to do this. But according to Hindenburg, let me just go back to the article, Hindenburg goes on to claim that the two electric cargo vans that they said are going to be manufacturing are actually a Chinese EV rebranded electric vehicle van with a Mullen logo. So, um, and there have been no EPA certifications for any vans or any vehicles. So um, they continue to say end to end with, we have seen this story before, but Mullen strikes us as one of the worst with echoes in Nicola, Lordstown, etc. So they think that Mullen is just the latest in a long line of EV hustles. So investors have been burned on EV stocks in the past. Um, I have been saying that this is a penny stock. This is a small cap company, a very small company, and it is a penny stock. It's going to have a lot of volatility. So I always said, please do your own due diligence before purchasing this or any other stock. That being said, I actually did purchase this stock and I have been transparent. I actually purchased it at $1.15. I actually sold it when it was at $3, made a about 160% profit. However, I only had a small amount of shares. Um, I did also say in past videos, if you have been following me, that I will be buying back into this stock if it goes under $2.50. I have actually set a limit order and it did purchase this stock this morning at two dollars and thirty cents um but right now this stock is still a very volatile stock we have seen a huge downward pressure on this but i did just want to be transparent with you and tell you what i am doing but always for you and yourself always do your own due diligence as this is not financial advice this is just showing you the news and doing the research for you so you have a good idea if you should invest or not in this company. Now, that being said, let me just show you how the stock if Mullen Automotive, again, ticker symbol M-U-L-N, is doing. In the past five days, it is down 17.6%. Um, as I have mentioned, this has gone down, uh, especially whenever we did hear that news uh, with the Hindenburg report, um, which was actually on April 6th. So this stock went from $2.70. It actually went down almost 20% by 50 cents. It did go as low as $2.18. Now, I did mention that I did have that limit order and I did just purchase this stock. Um, but right now, uh, this stock is down. Just in the past one day at the time of this recording, we are starting to see this stock go up. Um, it looks like it's going up about 11% at, again, this time of the recording. Right now, it's about 12, 12 p.m. Um, and so this stock 
is very volatile. So as I mentioned, 52 week low, 52 cents, 52 week high, $15.90. Let's zoom out and see how this stock has been doing. In the past one month, whenever uh, this stock was being reviewed, look at this. In the past one month, we are up 101%. The stock was actually trading at $1.15. This is actually the point that I bought, and I did sell about $3. So um, here, let me just show you. I made, okay, 183% roughly um, what I did make in this. Again, I had a very small amount of shares. But again, you can see that this stock is up 100%. Again, very volatile. At one point, it went up over uh, $4 in after hours. Um, but right now, it is very volatile. If we zoom out even more, you can see that in November, this stock was actually trading above $13 on three separate occasions. We have had a huge, huge drop in this stock, over 95% down. Um, the reason why I did buy this stock in, and I did have that limit order, as I have mentioned, um, because I was expecting that Mullen Automotive will be making that announcement that I he did hear from Benzenga, the CEO interview, that they will be making a purchase order for a Milan van, electric delivery van, to a Fortune 500 company in the next few weeks. I did think that that would be a big catalyst. So I did buy this stock, as I mentioned, um, with that limit order. Now we have this uh, article for the Hindenburg just released and uh, saying that this is a EV hustle, um, that they don't have the electric delivery vans, that they don't have that solid state battery, and that this uh, EV CEO of Milan is a hustle and it's a big scam. So I didn't buy a lot of uh, stock. I didn't have a big purchase order. However, I did buy some shares of this, as I have mentioned. We'll definitely have to see. I'll try to do more research um, into this company to find out uh, if there's any more information about this. Whenever I did look at the solid state battery, there's not a lot of information about this. The CEO did say that it was in the lab, it was the testing. Um, but again, I do know that there's a lot of companies out there um, going from very big legacy companies such as Toyota. I know QuantumScape has tried to get a solid state battery um, because it is a lot lower weight. It doesn't have that uh, inflammable liquid that's inside the battery. So it's a lot safer. It's a lot uh, less heavy. It's a lot more efficient. However, there's still a lot of problems with it um, that they can't get it into mass production. So we do know that QuantumScape's working on this. We do know that a lot of companies are working on this, pouring in billions and billions of dollars of research and development. And so far, nobody has been able to do that. Now, here comes along a very small company, micro, micro company, um, very small cap company that is claiming it has that battery does it seem too good to be true? Again, I am still trying to do that research, but I'll let you do your own due diligence as well. But I can say that this is a penny stock and it is very volatile. So always do your own due diligence, always do your own research, but also know that this stock is still a meme stock. It's uh, trending on Reddit, a lot of popularity, a lot of people are researching this stock. So there's still going to be a lot of people that are trying to make a quick buck. If you do get this stock, I would recommend uh, if you do get some profits, if you make some very nice profits, uh, anything over 20, 30 percent. If you start taking profits, I would not be surprised um, and always do your own due diligence. As you can see, we are having huge swings uh, both up and down on this stock. So. Um, I hope that you learned something new. If you did, give me that big thumbs up to keep me alive on YouTube. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Share this page with others so we can continue to grow the channel. I greatly appreciate that. And down below, I have the wonderful promotions. Right now, Moomoo is running a promotion. If you open an account, you can get up to five free stocks, each valued up to $3,500. Incredible chance to get $17,500. The latest news uh, that people have been getting is Coca-Cola stock and Netflix stock. So take advantage of those stocks. Um, also, using my link down to Weeble, Weeble is giving my viewers up to five free stocks as well, but each valued up to $3,000. Incredible opportunities. Take advantage of these, or this is a huge amount of free cash that you can get right now. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a great weekend, and I can't wait to talk to you on the next one. Thank you.